Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So given what's happened to Infinity Train with it being moved from Cartoon Network to HBO Max, I thought I'd tell you guys why I don't like streaming services and how I think they've become a problem, honestly, in the industry. So when streaming first started out, the first big streaming company to start with the subscription services was Netflix, right? Netflix was wildly successful back in the day. Pretty much everybody you knew had Netflix. Me personally, I never got Netflix. I got a free trial before, never actually paid for it. But if you look at Netflix, if you look at any streaming service, what is it? In my opinion, all it really is, is an on-demand service that's being run through the internet. How is Netflix any different than your on-demand service on your cable box? You go on Netflix, you click a show you like, you watch it anytime you want. You go on demand on your cable box, you do the exact same thing. They're exactly the same. But where streaming's become a problem is that all these companies, these different production companies, they all saw Netflix and they were like, wow, look at how much they're bringing in by just having a bunch of just shows that we're licensing out to them. Why don't we take our shows that we own and put them on our own streaming service and we could get the money directly instead of licensing it out to Netflix? Then you started seeing things like DC Universe pop up, a streaming service exclusively for DC shows. You saw Disney Plus pop up, a service that's exclusive to Disney shows. Then you see Netflix getting its own original programming. You see Hulu getting its own original programming. And all of a sudden, if you wanted to watch all your favorite shows, you're going to need four or five streaming services. So what was only $8 a month for Netflix is now becoming like 40, 50 bucks a month if you want to watch all your favorite shows and all the places they're available. Even if say, even if sports is even worse, let's say you want to watch sports. That's extremely expensive. I believe for like an MLB season, it's above $80. I don't know the exact price, but I know it's at least $80 if you want the full season of coverage. That's a lot of money when you could just be getting it built into your cable service. Now, that's why streaming has become a problem. It's just all these companies want a piece of the pie. All these companies are trying to get in on the action. And now streaming has become so widespread. You have HBO Max, DC Universe, like I said before, Disney Plus, all these streaming services with all different original programming. That's when I think streaming went against the consumer. It, at one point, was consumer friendly. You know, $8 a month for an on-demand service isn't really a lot of money. But now it's become much more than that. Now it's become, if you want to watch all your shows, you're going to need five, six, seven, maybe even eight streaming services. If you look at HBO Max right now, Warner Media owns HBO Max and they also own DC Universe. They have two streaming services that you're having to pay for to watch their content. Now, granted, I do see that DC Universe is starting to wind down. I do think within the next six months to a year, DC Universe will be merged into HBO Max. So that is what I foresee at least. But still, you look at the landscape, you look at all the streaming services available, and it's like... Oh, what used to be my 8 bucks a month is now 50 60 a month. And here's the other thing as well. We're starting to see with HBO Max at least, like, they're taking away content from the different Warner Media networks. Like TBS, they took away close enough from that. They took away Infinity Train from Cartoon Network. They t even took away technically Adventure Time from Cartoon Network, even though it's kind of a... I guess a spin-off series, you could say. They technically speaking took Adventure Time away as well. That's a whole nother problem. That's just being scummy. That's just Warner Media trying to pinch every single penny that they can grab from you. That There's no reason for that. There's literally no reason for you to be taking away content from your networks just so you can get more subscriptions. And especially when your subscription is priced at $15 a month. That's a lot for a streaming service. Now, I have to applaud, and if you've been watching me talking about streaming before, you know I like Disney+. Plus. The reason why I like Disney+, Plus is if you look at Disney+, Plus, the shows that they're airing, their original programming, their original shows, they don't have anywhere else to air a lot of them. You look at shows like The Mandalorian. Where would Disney air The Mandalorian? It wouldn't go on Disney Channel, not Disney XD. It doesn't fit on ABC. They don't have a channel for those types of shows. You see all the Marvel shows coming to Disney Plus down the pipeline. They don't have a place for any of those on TV. Star Wars The Clone Wars Revival. That wouldn't fit on Disney Plus because apparently it's not kid friendly because kids can't watch action shows anymore. So the shows that Disney's putting on their streaming service, 
is they just don't have anywhere else to put them. So it's warranted for them to be charging you, what is it, like $70 a year? So you could watch all these different shows that they don't, they just don't have anywhere to air them. If there was no Disney+, Plus, there would be no Mandalorian. There would be none of these Marvel shows that you're seeing. They just don't have anywhere to air them. That's why I applaud Disney+. Plus. But all the other streaming services, it's just like... Alright, you could be putting the shows that you're putting on your streaming service could really be on any network if you want it. Like Solar Opposites. Why that could be on like Fox, that could be on Adult Swim, that could be, you know, anywhere. I know Fox is the one who, technically speaking, owned it at one point. Uh they're the ones who originally made the deal with Justin Rowland, but now since then Disney has bought out Fox, so maybe that will even come to Disney Plus eventually. Anyways, that's my little rant on streaming. It went from being something that was completely optional and something that was consumer friendly to something that's just, it's kind of just like becoming a cash grab, honestly. It's just all these companies are seeing money bags piling up at the door because, oh, if we put something exclusive on our service, we can get a monthly fee from people and then we can be making more money. That's what it's become and it's really a shame. It's not consumer friendly at all. And people love it still for some reason. That's what I, I really don't understand. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.